Hi there, I'm Grace and I'm here to show you how to do one of my absolute favorite one scarf head wraps. You might have seen photos of me recently where I was wearing these outfits and these scarves as wraps and the wrap style in both of those photos was the same so that's what I'm going to show you. It's basically a fan wrap which I learned from an awesome Rapunzel tutorial but there were a few things that I did to uh, modify it. So for example in addition to the fan the way I do it it has a tail and I make a very noticeable V in the front. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did the wrap in the photo so you can try to duplicate the look if you like. I'm going to use, to, to demonstrate, I'm going to use this Petal Soft scarf from Rapunzel. Um, I think that this wrap style works well with any rectangular scarf, but if you're learning it for the first time, I think a, a lightweight, thinner scarf is a little bit easier, and this is the scarf that I learned how to do the wrap on, so I think it's a, it's a good one to learn it with. And I'm going to wear my signature shaper from Rapunzel, um, which is one of the smaller shapers that they have. This wrap style, as you'll see later on, works best with a smaller shaper or no shaper at all. So that's why I'm wearing my smallest shaper that I have because I do need the, the no slip headband. So um, the signature shaper has a Velcro uh, piece in the back so you can adjust the size of the no slip headband. I like to adjust it ahead of time and then I can just pull it on like a hat like this. And I just stuff my hair underneath. Some people like to braid their hair and pin it. Some people put their hair in a scrunchie or a bun. For me it's just more comfortable to have it loose underneath and it's just easy. So there we go. Okay, and my Petal Soft scarf is folded pretty much, it's in half, um, because when you drape a scarf, you're going to have one edge by your forehead, and the other edge needs to be pretty much here, like at the bottom of the shaper or where your hairline ends. Um, if it's hanging all down your back, it's too wide, and so you're going to need to fold over a portion of the scarf, but how much you fold over is going to, going to be trial and error. And it depends on how wide your scarf is and how big your shaper is. I wear this scarf all the time, so it's already pre-folded because I know in half lengthwise is about how I need it to be. So for this wrap, we need to have unequal ends and mine are pretty equal, so I'm going to adjust them so that one is a bit longer than the other. And it really doesn't matter which, which one. I mean, later on, once you get good at it, you can sort of plan like which which side you want the fan to be on, but I just wing it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the, the left end is longer and the right end is a bit shorter. And the other thing we need to do in order to have um, the angle at the front that you saw in the pictures is we need to place the scarf on at an angle. So I'm going to do it like this. Okay, and so what we're going to do is we will tie a knot in the back and we will cover up the shaper here and then leave the shaper showing here because we're going to bring another end up and it will cover it. But what's very important here is that the side of the, sh the scarf that's forward, that is the short tail. And the side of the scarf that's back, that is the longer tail. You might have recently seen a tutorial I did for Rapunzel for an angled beginner's luck wrap. I did it with a yellow scarf and that one has a lot of steps that are opposite to this wrap. So if you watch that, put it out of your head and just follow what we're doing here. So the side that's forward, this is the shorter tail and the side that's back, longer tail. Okay, and we will tie a knot in the scarf. It doesn't really matter how much of the shaper is showing on the this side, just a bit is fine. And when I when you tie a knot, one end of the, one end of the scarf comes up out of the knot and one end comes down. That's just how a knot is. And when I'm doing an angled wrap like this, I like it so that the end of the scarf that's coming down out of the knot is on the side where the scarf is back. That's because we will lift it up and cover it there. And so if the scarf is coming out from the bottom of the knot, you sort of have more scarf to cover up the, the shaper. Whereas if it's coming up a bit higher, coming out a bit higher up, you might 
miss a piece of the shaper but this is a very very small thing that it took me like months to figure out so if you are new to wrapping and it's too hard to visualize it because it's in the back of your head you can't see it right um, if it's difficult don't worry just tie any knot it'll be fine okay so we have when you tie a knot the ends also switch sides so now we have the long end on this side and the short end on this side so we'll deal with this one first and I just kind of open it up a bit and we're going to lift it up and cover up the shaper on this side Okay, and so that's how we get the V in the front. We're halfway there. Okay, and then we hold this here in one hand and we take this long end and lift it up the front. Just toss it back. Put my hand through the hole, not over here, but through the hole. Take hold of it and pull it through to the front. And so this is what you want, is the long end of the scarf coming out the front and the short end at the back. Okay, so let's just see how we're doing here. Good. Now, don't leave your house. We're not finished. <laughs> so when we lifted up those ends of the scarf, it created pockets here. There's one here and also over here like that. Okay, so just check those and make sure you can feel them. And then we take the short end of the scarf and it doesn't matter if this is very short. It's actually better if it's shorter. And we just uh, open it up a little bit and spread it out over the back of the shaper. And it's okay if it's all sticking up like this because we're going to cover it up with this one. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And I just find that pocket and tuck it in. Okay. And now this is where the magic happens. So we take this long end and spread it out and lift it up over the back and there's our fan yay okay and I basically just spread it out over over the shaper or over my head and gather it into a little ponytail right there on the edge and then I check things over here like is it smooth yeah it looks pretty good I might play with um those pleats there, sometimes I fluff them up a little bit. And so I'm holding it here, kind of all gathered together. And I find that same loop right here. There we go. And you can fit your fingers all the way through it. And we're going to push the scarf through that loop. And that creates your tail. Okay. And so I can pull it down a little bit to sort of tighten these up and maybe I'll fluff it out. There we go. Okay, and that's the wrap. And so there's a few things you can do to modify it. Um, for example, I did the, I like to do the knot right about here, kind of on the corner of my head. Um, if you do it down here, the fan is kind of going to be more on the side of your head. I like to have it up here so that it's, it balances diagonally with the tail. Um, if you are flipping over this long part that makes the tail and you realize you don't have enough scarf to actually make the tail, that's okay. Then you can just do a normal fan wrap and just stick the little ends in here. Um, and also uh, this scarf, uh, I love this scarf. I think it works really well with this style of wrap. But if you use a scarf that has edging, like for example, this one had a nice edge on it and this one has um, an edge on it, you can really use that um, to personalize the wrap and it, it will make like kind of streaks going like that and you can achieve some really different looks. So I love this wrap. I find it pretty easy um, and it looks really different with lots of different scarves. So I hope you give it a try and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Have a great day.